segregation and discrimination were the order of the day of those who grew up during the pre-independence era. Narrating her story, Deputy Minister of Finance Maureen Hinda says although many fought at different levels, she had to navigate her way through oppression and segregation, which amongst others hindered her plans, such as receiving a scholarship to further her studies. However, she says this is now something of the past as independent Namibia offers equal opportunities for all young Namibians to complete their studies without any discrimination. If you didn't get a correct, a correct mark on your child or a child you know, you get demand. So we will tell the minister. Because that is what independence offered us. Our president is always saying, it's not that things are worse that people complain. It's because we are aware of our rights. And therefore, be aware of your rights to place your request or your demand. You are not to be discriminated at. If you qualify, you must get that scholarship. Natalia Kwakoses, Urban and Rural Development Deputy Minister, echoed similar sentiments, saying independence was not handed on a silver platter. She urged citizens, especially the youth, to take advantage of entrepreneurial opportunities available as discriminatory laws that would prevent them to venture into farming or any business have been abolished. Because the government has created the enabling environment for all of us to contribute, for all of us to enjoy the freedom. What are we waiting for? Are we saying the government is not giving us the opportunity? Opportunities are plenty. The two deputy ministers were speaking during a pre-independence discussion in Ventuk. Siamantikwa, NBC News, Ventuk.